this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be demonstrating how to crochet this lovely bag. This is just a sample that I made um, for my uh, soul shrugs. I'm going to be putting these, these inside when I pack them. I thought it would be neat and this way I would get rid of my stash, the yarn that I have. We start from here. I chain total of 20 chain, but on this uh, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to chain instead of 20, I'm going to chain 30. If you want to make it bigger, you are welcome to chain as long as you want. It's going to be the same method. How to crochet this? Just a small bag, just to show you. It's about like not that huge of a bag. So this is a small bag, and you start from the bottom and you go up. And then you finish it up here. And I thought, why not? And I use cotton yarn. I'm going to be using this yarn that I have in my stash. 100% cotton, peach and cream. It can be anything that you have in your stash. It's about 70 gram. So it's just over a ball. Or maybe a ball. Because I had half of... I just used my halves that I had. But, um... So let's get started. Grab your uh, desire yarn that you want to start this and chain as long as you want. And then uh, just follow the instructions on what kind of crochet hook you need. And so let's get started. For this market bag, I have crocheted total of 20 chain to create this bag. And I'll just show you how it measures. It's a pretty small one. It's about 9 inches wide. And I went, I, th I believe, 20 rows of, uh, on top of that. And if you measure it from top down, it's about 10 and a half inches long. So for this tutorial, I will be chaining total of 30 chains. 30 chain to give you a idea how it will look like and then uh, we'll go from there and I'm going to be using 100% cotton yarn because uh, these bags I don't want them to stretch when I'm putting things in it but this is going to be for my uh, uh, bridal shrugs that I'll be putting in I will put that in as a gift as I usually do whoever buys something from me uh, if it's over $50, it depends on the weight too. I, I always uh, put a gift in it, a flower or a chasse, sachet or a, or a bag like this. Uh, or even I put out a sweater. <laughs> Can you believe it? Well, she spent it over $300, so I, I gifted her a sweater. Why not? Okay, so let's get started. And uh, we're just going to chain regular regular chains that we did. I'll just uh, focus on this and I'll be right back. So chain total of 30 chains and I'll meet you back. Okay, so I chain total of 30 chain and I'm going to chain extra three. So just one, two, three. So this extra three would be considered as double crochet. So what I'm going to do is, so one, two, three, on the fourth chain, I'm going to double crochet all the way to each of the chain just like this so just go in and do a double crochet and I'll meet you at the end <laughs> okay so I'm at the end and I'm going to be doing a turnaround to do the turnaround we're going to be crocheting total of uh, six double crochets on this last to create that uh, fan looking uh, cr to do the turnaround so including this double crochet we're going to make five more onto the same <laughs> spot that we have uh, did the double crochet so one two three four five Just going to recount this. Okay, so two, four, five, and one more. And I'm going to weave that 
the end while I'm crocheting and then we're going to do the symmetric on this uh, other side so to do that you just go in in between uh, just like this in between the cr double crochets that you have done <clears throat> So you just go like this and then you go between between just like this so continue crocheting and I'll meet you at the end I just wanted to show you if you're having trouble where to uh, where to crochet I okay, just wanted to show you a closer look. So it's between, remember we did the double crochets here on the, so on the symmetric. You go between, just grab the two, and then you just crochet just like this. So you go between, you just grab the two, and it and when you're done you look at it it's the symmetric see symmetric so continue crocheting all the way to the end and I'll meet you at the end if you have a chain 30 I notice it's not that much of a big difference so if you want to chain more than 30 you're welcome to do that just show you the comparison so it's just just a, maybe two inches, two inches different when you measure it, yeah, so it's not a big, yeah, two inches, exactly two, well actually three inches, yeah. If you want to make it bigger than that, you're welcome to crochet it bigger than 30 inches. So I'll meet you at the end, continue crocheting, double crochet, and we're going to do a turnaround on this edge. Okay, so I have crocheted all the way to the end. Now we're going to be crocheting a total of four double crochets on this spot. And I already did one. So I'm just going to crochet three more, just like this. One, two, three. Okay. So we have a total of four here. And remember we did a three, dub, uh, three chain and then we did a double crochet. So we're going to consider those two. So that it's going to be a total of six. And to do that, we're just going to do a slip stitch. So count the three chains that we did on the third chain on top. We're just going to do a slip stitch just like this. Okay. And this is how we create the turnaround. And we're going to chain three as this is going to be considered as one double crochet and we're going to continue doing double crochets all the way to the end okay so I um, forgot to mention we're going to be making another double crochet here to increase so when we come back for uh, for the turnaround just to make a count this so this would be included when we're turning around here so we're going to continue double crocheting all the way to the end just like this so just go between just do a regular double crochet and now we'll meet you at the end to do our turnaround okay so I'm at the end where we did the <clears throat> six double crochet six uh, double crochets so I just wanted to point out at this point it's like crocheting a hat or uh, crocheting anything that is round but this is going to be the semi round to do that to create that round look we need to do double crochets on each of the chains that we have done so we're just, we did two here on the first that we did the six and then we're going to do another double crochet on the following two double crochets on each so this is the second so we're going to increase it from six to twelve double crochets just like this and then continue crocheting all the way to the all the way and then i'll meet you at the end to show you how to join this part 
So you just do your regular double crochets and after you're increasing from 6 to 12 double crochets on each chain. Okay, so I'm at the end here and we're going to repeat what we did at the other side. So we're just going to do two double crochets on each double crochet just like this. And then I'm going to show you how to join that chain that we have done. Just like that. So two double crochets on each double crochet. So one, two. Okay, so we have here. Just gonna recount them. Yeah, two, two, two. Okay, so we have two, four, six. Okay, so remember we count this as a double crochet. So I'm going to do a double crochet on this chain here. And I'm going to join this three chain that we did, slip stitch. So this would be considered as two double crochet. And remember we did two double crochets here. So we're gonna chain three and we're gonna go up. So that would be considered as one double crochet. Okay, so we're going to be doing a double crochet here. On this uh, chain, and it doesn't look right, so I'm gonna redo this. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna do a uh, On the third chain, I'm just doing a slip stitch just like this and chain three to uh, go up to make a double crochet. And then here, I'm going to make one double crochet. Okay, so now we're going to do one double crochet and then to the next chain, we're gonna do two double crochet. So, or what you can do is just do the two double crochets on the top of the two double crochets. That's another trick. And we're going to continue crocheting like this all the way to the end. And I'll meet you at the end again. Okay, so uh, we're starting the semicircle again. So I did uh, one double crochet on top. And then the next I'm going to do two double crochets. I'm going to do one double crochet. I'm going to do two double crochet on the next chain. And as you can see, our bag, bottom bag, is getting bigger. And then as you can see, we're doing two double crochets on the double crochets, just to show you. So, we did one, two, three. We have two more rows to do to create that bottom. So continue crocheting like this. One double crochet, two double crochet, all the way to the last here. So you should end up with, I believe, yeah, I'll meet you here and we'll see. Okay, so the last one is a double crochet on top of the double crochets. Okay. So continue crocheting all the way to the end and I will meet you. Just continue as what we did here. One double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet and I will meet you how to join. And then we will start on our fourth row. Okay, so I did one double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet, and I did one double crochet, and I'm going to do another double crochet. Remember, we did it closer to the chain, so we just do a double crochet, and I just join with the slip stitch on the third chain, just like this, and this is how you join, and this double crochet and with this chain it looks like a two double crochet and the following is one double crochet two double crochet so we're going to chain three to go up and make the double crochet 
then we're going to make a double crochet just like this here so this is going to be the fourth row and then we're going to do another double crochet on the following so we're doing one two double crochet and we're going to do three double crochets separately uh, two double crochets I'm sorry and then we're going to do two double crochets on top of the double crochets just like this and then this is all to it so continue crocheting all the way to the end and I'm just going to not repeat it uh, I will come back to show you or I will come back I guess so when you see the double crochet you do a double crochet and do double crochets on each and when you see a double crochet you do a du two double crochets and then you do two double crochets in each you do double crochets in the following chain another double crochet and then you do two double crochets okay just like this just, and I'll meet your way back here to join again the joining is very tricky <laughs> Sometimes I get confused too, so I'll meet you back here. Okay, so far I have crocheted all the way around and I'm here at the joint. And as, of, as I said, just do, do two double crochets where you see the two double crochets and this is all to it. So I can also recommend if you want to do a single crochet bag, you, can, you are welcome to do the same method. Just instead of doing double crochets, you can do single crochets all the way around using the same method, same way as I showed you. And then you can continue crocheting as uh, long as you want with single crochets because uh, I did see a couple of uh, bags on uh, Instagram and I will show you that too. And this is how the bottom looks. Just wanted to show you the comparison. So this is for 20, 20 chain and this is for 30 chain. And if you want to make it bigger, you can make as big as you want. And like I said, you can do single crochets without the, without chaining. You can continue using the same method that I'm showing you. It's this is this big looks, I don't know, it looks nice. <laughs> I like it. it looks unique. So that's why I wanted to do a tutorial on how to crochet this lovely uh, market bag. And uh, I'm just going to show you how to join again the trick part because I got confused at the beginning. So, um, so I did two double crochets here and I did one single crochet, one uh, double crochet, one double crochet and one double crochet but when you join when you go to the third chain to do a slip stitch so this chain will consider it as one double crochet and when you join them automatically it looks like it's two double crochet and we just regularly chain three to go up and that would be as one double crochet and we just continue doing our double crochets on what, what you see and then when you see the two double crochets you automatically do a two double crochet just like this so this is going to be our last row. This is the fifth row. Just want to double, just count it, two, four. So we're doing the fifth row. But you are welcome to, like I said, you can make it as this big as, as uh, long as you want. But this is the bottom of the bag. So we don't have to crochet increase anymore after this row. So we're just going to go regularly if you want to continue just do the double crochets on each chain after this fifth row and then uh, when you see this is the last row so I'm going to do a double crochet on the double crochets and this is all to it so I will meet you back up here and we will start the sixth row Okay, so I am finishing my fifth row and I did my double crochet and I'm just going to do a slip stitch on the third chain just like this and I am done. If you are making a bigger bag I would advise you to make crochet a sixth row, seventh row or even eighth row depending on how big you're making the bag because the bigger it becomes the underneath should be bigger. So uh, for this uh, tutorial, uh, I did 30 chain and on, on my 20 chain, I did five row. 
and this would be enough for this big for the bottom but if you like I said if you're making over 30 like 40 50 60 chain wide I would advise you to make a couple of more rows and like I said when you're making the extra rows you just need to do double crochets on the double crochets that you see and that's all to it and here you just make a double crochet and you do a slip stitch on the third chain to join so that's the trick and as you can see you can't this is not even noticeable like this part is not noticeable at all so this is the trick and this is how you crochet so I am going to start doing my chains and I am going to do this look on this tutorial but like I said if you want to make it single crochets I do see a lot of uh, uh, bags around people are making doing tutorials and uh, I did notice them and they do look very nice and unique so I will show you a couple of bags that I saw on um, Instagram Instagram yeah I think that's how you say it <laughs> it's a weird name isn't it so I just wanted to show you that as well, that you, you, you are welcome to make those bags as well. And uh, here's one. I'm just going to move my camera and I'll show you. And I think these are nice too. And you just use the same method here. Okay, are these nice? And when I click it, there's so many bags that she's selling. See, it's the same method, just go around and around. And these are nice too. It's the same method of how to crochet this bag. See, it's just single crochet. These are single crochet. And the yarn is different. I, I believe it's macrame, macrame yarn. Yeah, so that's another trick. But it's the same method as I showed you how to start the bottom. Okay, so for this, uh, I'm just going to do is chain five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to skip four double crochets. One, two. And we just repeat. We chain five, three, four, five. We skip four. One, two, three, four. And then the fifth, we do a single crochet. And this is all to it. So go all the way around and I'll meet you back here. Back here to join. Just wanted to confirm five chain. One, two, three, four. Or, here I did five, but you can go four as well, because we don't want it to have it stretch, right? So this is how it looks like so far. Let me... Looks like a tray. <laughs> Doesn't it? With these uh, going up, as you can see, it's automatically, it's, it's folding itself because we haven't increased anything, right? So I'm at the last part where I did um, single crochet. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to show you a trick. Um, I know lots of people won't do what I do, but I don't like to, uh, like here we did the joining, remember? Was it here? Yeah, here, it's hard to see. So I always try to find a way to do a join. So chain five again, two, three, four, five. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm just going to do a single crochet right here. And then from here, I'm just going to continue going around. Five chain, two, three, four, five. And then just do a single crochet here. Just like this. So when we pull this it will look like this but you don't have to pull it and then when we come around we don't have to join again we just do it automatically and it's even hard to notice this part 
one, two, three, or here I can show you another trick. <laughs> I always have these tricks. Okay, so I did my single crochet here. I can do slip stitch or I think single crochet would look better. So just do one, two, three, just join in the middle, just like this, and then chain five. But again, when you come back, it's hard to join. So that's why I don't like to do this part. I just skip it. Because when you look at my bag here, you can't see where I started. It's 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 really hard to notice. Uh, I even have a hard time. So it's it's a trick that I do. Uh, here it is. Can you see it? I can't see it. Here. This is here I joined. Here it is. See? It's really hard to see. So when I come back, like when I do my chains like this, like doing the five chain and doing a single crochet on top, what I do is on the second row, I just do my single crochet, I do five chain and go and, and I go on top of it. And I go around and around and around. So total of 20 rows I went up. So this is a bigger, this is bigger, so I'm gonna go 30 rows up. And so continue crocheting like this round and around. So after, like this was the part that we did join, right? So you don't have to join anymore. So you just go round and around. You go five, you do five uh, chain, single crochet on top of the next. You do five chain, just like this, three, four, five. And then you go single crochet on top of the chain, five chain. And it's just a repeat, go around and around. So I'm going to do 30. If you have chain 20, you can do 20. And I'll meet you back here. So we're going to make the handle, the handle of the bag. Okay, so I'll meet you as long as you want. If you have chain 50 chain, I would recommend just measure it, how long you want it. But approximately, I would say for 20 uh, chain of a bag, you need to go 20 row. For a 30, I would go 30 row. And I'll meet you back to make the handle. Okay, so I have crocheted. <laughs> Total of 27 rows. I wanted to do 30, but I noticed it's going to be pretty long. And I didn't want it because, um, as you can see, when you fill in the bag, it does stretch even it's cotton it does stretch so I didn't want it to stretch it that long so what I did is I just crocheted a total of 27 rows and I think this is pretty good for um, 14 inches long it's pretty good from to put my projects on and so what I did is I counted there's 13 here like I just counted these chains and I counted the back it's 13 so I divided that by two so I had four here four in the middle and four here I chained total of 25 I didn't want to chain as long again because I don't want it to stretch this was a this was a 30 so this is a 35 if you want you can chain longer than this but for me this is okay and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna join here so what skipping so what I did is one two three four and I skip in one two three four and I'm gonna just join here so I'm gonna have three in the middle so one two three oh sorry join here so four in here four 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 no it doesn't sound right but when you look at these edges, at the edges, it's to 13 here. So four, 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 there's 12. Okay, so you just join here, just like this, single crochet, and I will show you. 
and then you go another row all the way around here and then we do the same handle on this one we divide it I divide it same like here so let me go back to my other station so far I used up two balls this is the third to crochet a 35 uh, you know 30 this was a 30 30 chain bag this one I used up two balls for a 20 chain bag just to let you know so I think this color is pretty good don't you think so mm -hmm. so let me grab it and I will show you how to just wanted to show you flat how it looks like and I have a bigger space here to show it to you and I'll just grab it and we'll continue crocheting okay so I'm just grabbing it and I'm going to do a single crochet where I marked it and I'm just going to continue chaining one two three four five just want to let you know that this is really fun to crochet <laughs> today is Sunday I started this tutorial Sunday June the 3rd around noon and it's almost five and I had done errands and it's going pretty fast in the past five hours so one two three four five so I'm just gonna continue crocheting and turn my work and I will mark here's my 13th and here's my other end so I'm just gonna mark in the middle and continue crocheting and I'll be right back so I'm at the other side and I have chained another 30 and I marked so I'm skipping the four again and I marked on my fourth fifth actually and I'm just gonna chain single crochet and then chain five four five and then continue crocheting continue crochet all the way up to where we're going to be up to here and we're going to be single crocheting from so on two rows on the purple I did two row of single crochet but you can you're welcome to increase that to three to four to five it depends on how big your bag is so you're welcome to do that as well so I'll meet you over there okay so I'm, I'm making up this it depends on how you want to do it so I joined with a single crochet and I chained three I'm just gonna come here just like this and do a single crochet if you want you can go in between these chains but I'm not gonna bother I'm just gonna go underneath to create the handle just like this or what you can do is from here where you joined we've joined here you can chain uh, I don't know this is it has to be over 30 you can have your uh, handle thicker yeah let me show you let me show you the other way just a trick that I just thought about to create the handle so continue crocheting there's no numbers just make it up as you go remember we chained 35 so I would say 35 single crochets all the way down here and I'll meet you down here somewhere so I ended up 40 single crochets and I, ch I chain three so I'm just gonna do a single crochet here and then one more two three and then do a do another one four and then skip this one and then make four so we're gonna skip the single crochet and do single crochets in these uh, five chains that we did all the way to this here and I will show you a second method how to make a handle 
Okay, so I came all the way here. I did my four single crochet and I chained total of 40 chain. And I'm going to be joining here. So this is a second method how to make a handle. You're welcome to do either way you wish. And uh, we just continue crocheting for four single crochets in each. So continue crocheting all the way. Just continue crocheting on top of these single crochets that you see. And I will meet you back here to finish the second look of the handle. I have crocheted all the way to the second handle. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to grab it from underneath just like this and make a single crochet. This way the handle would be thicker just to give you an idea. Just like this. Just a single crochet. Nice. I'm just going to fill it. I don't know, maybe 40 single crochets. I'm not counting. Depends, just depends on how long it is, right? So continue crocheting and we're going to be making our last row and then here we're going to be ending it. Okay, and this is how the handle looks like so far. Well, I'll finish this one. So just continue crocheting as many as you need to crochet. There's no numbers, but I am aiming for the 40 maybe, 45. Just like this. I have crocheted a total of 40 single crochets and I have joined on the first single crochet and I'm just going to go around doing single crochets all the way here and I will be ending it. Two rows is enough for me but if you want to make multiple of more rows you are welcome to go around and around and around. So I'm just going to continue crocheting like this to the to my last destination. I'm at the last. I did my last single crochet and what I'm going to do is I am just going to uh, slip stitch just like this. Ta-da! And we're done. Just make a chain, secure it, and cut my yarn and weave at the end. So I will show you how my bag looks like. And I use, this is the third ball, third ball. So half of it's gone, so you need you need to get three balls of the 70 gram. These about these are about these cotton yards about 70 gram. If you can get the cone or a big that uh, that that's about uh, 500 gram. Yeah, these are about two two and a half ounces. So uh, if you have you can get the bigger cone. Okay, so I'm just going to go to my other room and show you how it looks like so far with the two handles and I'll fill it in. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Doesn't this look nice? Yeah. So this is the second handle I made. And this was the first one that I did. I did uh, single crochets, two rows of single crochet. And this is how it looks like. So I'm just going to fill it, fill it with yarn. This one's going to be ready to be shipped tomorrow. I knitted a bridal shrug. Put it in an organza bag. And put it in my crocheted my thank you hand thank you for buying handmade cards and the yarn a little bit yarn left over 
and it's going to ship. So I'll just fill it in and show it how it looks like. I also forgot to mention I crocheted this lovely flower so you can attach it on the bag as you want to give a decoration. Just wanted to share you that as well. I can't tell you how big <laughs> this bag became because of the chains <laughs> and I filled it with yarn. Oh my goodness there must be over 30 balls of yarn in here. I haven't counted but it's filled. So this is how you crochet this lovely bag. You can fill it in with anything you want. Well I have so many yarn in my home that I just wanted to show you how it looks like. Ta-da! And here's the small one. I'm sure this can be filled in too. Well this was inside was pretty big too. Okay so I just wanted to share you this lovely tutorial. I hope you liked it with the two different handles and I'm going to be demonstrating another one another interesting vintage um, market bag that one doesn't have this bottom and uh, I will share it to you as soon as I start taping it <laughs> so thank you very, there very much for watching my tutorial if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe, share with your family and friends, and happy crocheting!